Hello, this is Elect Zero again with another tutorial. This tutorial will uh, teach you an interesting little feature with Blender, how you can uh, make a uh, movie projector light, have a light project a movie onto a plane or whatever. Alright, so let's open up Blender. I've already got it open. Then let's just add a plane. Scale it up. Turn a light or whatever you've got in your scene. Just add a, add a light and turn it into a spotlight. And yeah, you want you want shadow. Let's see, so here we go. It'll be easier to see if you move your camera closer. So let's just oops, okay, move it up here so you can see it. So, but right there, there's my camera view. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Now let's uh, change the size of this spotlight. See, it's way too big and continues to wait on there. Anyway, let's. Bump down the spot size to say 20. Ah, uh, that's good. And then the distance, just take it back. Come on. Uh, two, let's do six. That works. Let's see, and there it is. Oh, wait, square. I'll call them the square. There you go, see? And then it's right there, and we probably want to rotate it so it's. I've got this in a track to constraint. You just you kind of want it straight. Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay. Yep. I do that. Then let's rotate. Uh, right. Give me a sec. All right. Sorry about that. I had to get that straight. Anyway. When you have a spotlight pointing down onto your plane, let's move the plane up a little bit so it's the spotlight is through it, just to make sure that it, the spotlight actually hits the plane. All right, add a new texture. And then go to this, see, and you have a new texture. Then go to Image, and click Load. Now you can, you know, add images here, you know, and so you can do whatever. But I'm going to add a video, like, and I think that it, ha it can't have any spaces in it, but I don't know. I'm going to do a the, use the video, the Blender Physics Engine demo demonstration that I made. So just because. All right, here we go. And we want down here, uh, well, first let's check how many frames that video has, because you have to set how many frames are going to be there. So let's see here. Here, this video has... Oh no, hold on. It's 41. It's 41 seconds with a 15 second, a 15 FPS frames per second rate. So we want to do 15 times 41, and we get 615 frames. So let's go down here. Type in 615, 615. You want auto refresh. See over here. And now we've got. Now, now it looks like that. Does it, it, it has to load with hollow? Doesn't matter. And then, all right, let's just render it. So look, there it is. There's that movie. Of course, it's slightly crooked. That's just because my camera's at an angle. Uh, so, but like, we can advance the uh, let's advance to like frame. Like bring 430. It doesn't really matter. And then, see, it's a different background color. I don't know why, it just is. You see, things are happening. Dominoes are falling. This ball has been knocked off of here. Yeah, so, it's a, it, this is actually the movie. Um, it's, yeah, anyway. It's, I also uploaded that so you can look at it if you feel like it. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's that. But also, another neat little feature. Seeing as it's a light, you can actually add obstacles. Let's, go, let's add a cube, scale it down, and then uh, even more than that. Then move it in the way of this light. I can stick it here. Uh, no, stick it over here, like behind the behind the uh, camera. Like that. Then okay, there we go. Now let's render it. See, look, now there's a shadow of the cube, so it can act just like a projector. 
So if you want a projector, uh, yeah. Um, go away. I don't want to explore. Anyway, if you want a projector in your scene or movie or whatever, this is a good way to do it. So, yeah. If you have any questions, post a comment, message me.